In this video, we're going to talk about how we measure stuff in science, that is, the units we use. And we have to learn a whole new unit system because the American system is honestly kind of dumb. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, science and everybody else who aren't us, for the most part, uses the metric system, which is a lot easier to understand. And just to put this in perspective, without thinking about it, can you tell me how many inches are on in a foot? Okay, how many feet are in a mile? How about how many ounces are in a pound? Well, 12 inches, yeah, in a foot, we all know that. 5,280 feet in a mile, that doesn't make any sense. 16 ounces in a pound, why? None of these numbers are really nice and round. Whereas if I use a metric system, I ask you how many centimeters are in a meter? How many meters in a kilometer? How many grams in a kilogram? Well, a hundred, a thousand, and a thousand. See, everything's a nice round 10, and that's much easier to understand and use. So we're going to use the metric system in science. Now, in science, we have specific units we use for different quantities. So if, when we talk about length, we're always talking about the meter. So for this, you're going to want to know the quantity, the unit, and the symbol. These symbols are going to pop up a lot in chemistry. So mass, we use the kilogram, time, second. Temperature, we use Kelvin, okay? Amount of substance, the mole, we'll talk more later. Uh, the amp and the candela, we're really not going to talk about all that much in chemistry. So just focus on the top five here. Now let's talk about the meter, which is length. And just to give you some perspective, it's slightly longer than a yard. A yard is three feet. Um, one meter is 39 inches. So here's a yardstick versus a meter stick. But all distances will be used uh, with a meter. Uh, weight, we're going to use a kilogram. And again, just to give you a sense, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Now in lab or in your textbook, you will also see gram being used a lot, and one gram is one one thousandths of a kilogram. And we use this to measure weight, and really weight is just mass and the gravitational pull on matter. So mass and weight are slightly different things, and the only difference is gravity. For time, we're going to use a second. Everybody should know what the second is. And the way that you actually define a second is it's very specific. It has to do with cesium. Um, basically, we have atomic clocks. And here's the one in DC by the Department of Defense and one in Switzerland. And due to radiation of cesium-13333, we can measure a second. But just for, for what you need to know is that we use seconds for units of time. In temperature, we use the Kelvin, um, denoted as K, or absolute temperature, same thing. And really, we brought this up during the energy, but really what temperature is, is just the amount of kinetic energy of the gas molecules. Or that's what we think of temperature, but it can be any, any type of matter. So if something's hot, that just means it has a lot of kinetic energy. And temperature is a, is a measurement that allows us to know which way energy is going to flow, mainly thermal energy. Um, hot things go to cold things. And we all know this. Um, if you have a glass of ice water and put it outside, it's going to melt. Hot cup of coffee, we leave it out, it's going to cool down because energy, thermal energy, goes from hot to cold. Now, for temperature, we actually have three scales we could use. We're not even going to talk about Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is really dumb. doesn't make sense. Uh, freezing point is 32. Boiling is 212. Okay. Who cares? Um, what we care about is Celsius and Kelvin, uh, which are used by scientists. And you can see between Celsius and Kelvin, we have this nice uh, distinction where you're always 273 degrees apart. Um, and the coldest you can ever be is absolute zero. Zero Kelvin or minus 273 Celsius. And that's when um, all motion stops, which is impossible to do. 
So how do you convert from one scale to another? Well, we have um, some equations for that. So up here is the equation going from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And the second equation is going from Kelvin to Celsius. So I want everybody to um, pause the video and take a second to try and calculate the temperature in Fahrenheit at 25C and the temperature in C if it's 298.15 Kelvin using these equations. So do that now. All right, so for what is the temp in F at 25C? What you wanna do is you wanna plug in the 25 here in this C, and you get equal to F minus 32 divided by 1.8. You take this 1.8 and you multiply it on each side. That will cancel out this 1.8 and 25 times 1.8 equals 45. Now you have 45 equals F minus 32, so you just add 32 to each side, and when you're at 25C, you're at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, how about the second equation? Well, what we wanna do is K is 298.15, so we plug it in here, and we get 298.15 equals C plus 273.15 K. We subtract 273.15 from each side, and we find that C equals 25, not K, C equals 25 degrees. All right, that's our video, and see you next time.